Hey guys, welcome back. Ken from Ken Avers and Plastering. And today we're just doing a regular skip trial finish on this home that was built in the 80s. And what we have with us today, we brought some medium sand finished stucco. Uh, there's different types of textures on this uh, little house. They've got some coarse material over here. And then uh, over here above the door, we've got some fine. And then shoot the camera over that way, Glenn. Look at how coarse that is past where the fireplace used to be. And uh, so what we've done is we've, we just picked up some medium stucco today. Uh, and we're going to be able to blend this and the, this area over here where it looks like it's got fine material. So it's going to just be all one uh, uniform texture here and blended with the existing over here which is coarse. And then around this window right here, it's, this is where the art comes in folks. It's, the wall's been painted so many times. So uh, you can look at the wall and say, oh, okay, well they use uh, looks like coarse cement here, coarse sand here. So, but it's been painted so many times. So, if you go with, if you back it up a little bit, uh, back your sand down a little bit, maybe go with some 2030. It's going to look just like the existing is already. So, that's what we're doing. We're, we've got some medium here. Looks like they did go with the coarse originally. So we're backing it down over here one step. So it's so cold out today, I'm going to try this without putting any water on the wall. I've got acrylic bonder in the mud because of the painted surfaces. Any kind of a white glue, you could use Acro 60 or one of these additives. You add it in your mud. Uh, it works pretty good. Or you could use Weldcrete. Uh, to put on the surface. I like putting the white glue in with my mud because uh, then it doesn't look so bad when you're done. And this material here is going to dry white uh, so it's going to blend almost with the uh, almost perfectly with the existing paint already. So they, they are going to paint it afterwards. Uh, there is no color in this mud and I think this is a base B Glen. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's a little bit off-white. The base B is a little off. I'm going to try this without any water at first because it is so cold out. I want to be able to texture it kind of right away. Um, and if it looks like I'm going to need water, well, we'll go ahead and grab the hose and squirt some water on it. So uh, up here at the top, I think I'm just going to go ahead and finish all the way up there. Blend that in because it's such a small area. existing stucco is really rough. Got a little bolt right here. Don't mm -hmm. hit your head on these little bolts right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, I'm getting some good coverage. Looks like I'm not, I'm not going to need any water on the wall. Now if you did put water on the wall, like if it was summertime, I definitely have some water on the wall. But since it's winter, I'm not going to use any water. Um, and if you were going to use water, if you're going to use water, try to keep your water off the painted surface because uh, water just hangs on painted surfaces. It just stays wet too long messes up the texture. Here's some remnants. That white right there, that liquid white, that's a little bit of remnant from the uh, acrylic bonder. It's okay.
You want to call that good, Ken? No, I'm ready to. No. Okay. Okay, so after you get it about this point here, uh, we're going to grab our float, maybe our brush, and float it in around the edges and around the window frame. Same thing over here, keep on going, keep on keeping on. You don't necessarily have to float the middle because they're existing well. Well, maybe the existing is floated in the middle a little bit. It's the material over there is pretty coarse. And just because it's coarse, it looks like it's exploded already. This is where we blend it. more on there. Give this a nice joint right there. A nice connection. Ooh, old stucco. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put a texture on here so you can see uh, see how we do the texture. So on a picture like this, we don't want our mud to be too loose. But we want it to be a little bit more loose than the, uh, the base coat we just put on. So put a little water in there, mix it up. over at our sucker that we have to match. And we come back to our wall. down the road. We're going to let that take up a little bit, then we go back and knock it down. Take a look at the uh, how we're gonna tie in this joint here. 
dial in this joint right here. That's about it. Now we're going to uh, drop back to where we first started. Knock this down over here, blend it in. Heavy right there. Okay, come on back over here. Let's take it up even more. Knock this down. Voila. Now we're going to drop the scaffold down to the bottom and we're going to see you next time. Thanks for watching.